Chairman, I'd like to introduce Jacob Thomas. Hello. Oh, this is very exciting. Just want to say, second time in Adelaide, loving it. Super cute. Love it. Um, so I just want to quickly introduce myself. It's not a speech. Don't worry. We're all good on that. Got this. Um, so as is introduced, my name is Jacob Thomas. Um, I'm a human rights advocate. Uh, I work in partnership with the United Nations, um, predominantly in gender equality, LGBTIQA plus rights. Um, I'm also a drag queen. Barbara, I feel you on the hair nets. Don't worry. It's full solidarity on that. I get you. Um, so uh, currently, uh, just a quick thing as well, just to sort of substantiate why I'm asking this question. So also a Queen's Young Leader, met the Queen, uh, work in advocacy spaces such as with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Um, and I was one of the young people who got them to agree to uh, supporting queer rights in the Commonwealth last year, which was super, super lovely. So um, as you can tell, human rights and equality, very, very close to my heart. And I absolutely uh, guarantee and we know that they are to Qantas as well. And honestly, thank you for that. Um, I know that you're incredibly impassioned about things such as gender equality, and that's been said numerous times today. Um, as a non-binary person, super excited for that to move beyond the dichotomy as well. Um, focusing on things like you know carbon emissions, focusing on uh, green patterns, focusing on climate action, indigenous rights. I just want to ask a very, very innocent question, Mr. Chair. Just in your opening statement regarding the issue of people seeking asylum, um, I don't want to misquote you on this one, so I, I'm not going to try and do it. Um, with regards to companies supporting particular social movements purely out of interest, why doesn't Qantas at this moment in time have a very clear point that I may not be aware of, but a very just a clear stance on the rights of people seeking asylum within Australia at this moment in time? Or maybe Mr Joyce or anyone else who might like to address that one, yeah, just that, to get some clarity. Um, because as I said earlier, I, I don't think we should have and need to have a position on every single thing. And our position on this is, this is one for government, and we're in a democracy. At the last election, both major political parties went with remarkably similar uh, policies on this. And so this is one for government and the courts. And frankly, we would absolutely be not um, doing our director's duties uh, if we were to take an alternative view on this particular one. Sure. Can I ask a quick follow-up? Yep. Oh, sorry, unless someone else wanted to respond. Go on, quick follow-up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I know, a performer in me. Um, just because I take the point around government, I take the point around courts. Um, I know this is kind of a bit of an apples and oranges kind of situation, but I know as a queer person who was put through that very, very traumatic experience in 2017 regarding that marriage survey, um, especially as a trans non-binary person, that hate has not at all finished for those of us who are in that acronym. Um, so that's just another little side note. Um, Qantas took a very beautiful and very, very honest, and I thank you for your leadership on that, Mr Joyce. Um, in regards to, yes, that was a democratic position, and yes, that was, you know, quote unquote, a people's vote on that one that went through a democratic process, um, but Qantas still put forward a statement on that one. I completely agree. Not every company has to have a stance on every single thing. I know my expertise as a human rights worker. Um, but I just kind of guess, I know I'm not expecting like an answer explicitly yes or no, but I just want a bit of clarification if possible about why this particular issue is not sort of coming into the fray when there is opportunity to speak on other issues that might very much sit with the pure responsibility of a democratically elected government or a judicial court system? I think the, the simple answer is the, the, the issues where we have chosen to speak out um, involve uh, a lot of our stakeholders and employees, customers and the like. Um, this is different. This is... Uh, uh, and I think Alan's comments earlier... Um, I think ACCR, for all its good things, is using Qantas, the Qantas brand, to try and change government policy. And on this one, I think you should be doing it uh, outside business meetings and in the political uh, environment, not in not in a commercial business environment. 